Hello and welcome to this edition of Going Public. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. And we're so very glad to have with us Terrebonne Parish President Gordon Dove. Gordy, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. All right. I love the fact that you've been able to kind of put together a lot of the things and a lot of the projects on kind of where we stand and what we've accomplished here in the last seven plus years. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about some of those, maybe starting yeah. with some of the capital well, outlay projects. Well, and, and, and I don't, I'd, I'd like to say that, you know, you know, special shout out to, to naturally the council mm -hmm. for supporting everything and, and of course everything. It has to be clear through them on spending money. Sure. And our department heads, fabulous job, every one yep. of them. The directors and, of course, the employees, engineers, and delegation, state delegation, and congressional delegation. Right, right. It, it takes a long time for a lot of these to come to fruition. I know a lot of people have worked on them for a lot of, a lot of years. The levy districts, the levy boards, they've really made some uh, positive changes, and y'all have been able to really accomplish a Between lot. Between us and the levy board, with what we have under construction, going to construction, we it's, it's getting close to two billion dollars with a B. Two billion dollars worth of incredible. infrastructure done in Terrebonne Parish over wow. the last few years, and very, very. I mean, it's it's unbelievable what was done, and hats off to everyone involved and the people at Terrebonne Parish who taxed themselves. That's correct. Who said we'll we'll pay for it? They right. they said they'd pay for it. Three quarters of sales tax and a millage. Right. For besides both of the, all the other sales taxes that we use right. on drainage and right. other things. Right. So. Let's go through this capital outlay. Okay, now this is the Terrebonne Power Consolidated Government 23-24 capital outlay project. That's just coming up in the next session. Fiscal year, right? These have already been there, and we, 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 they either partially funded or, they, or we're trying to get them fully funded. Okay. So the Terrebonne Basin Watershed HNC at the Bayou Grand Caillou Phase 1 and 2, that's like a $95 million pump station, 12-foot diameters, and that is to go by the Bubba Dove, and, but actually on Grand Caillou Bayou, on about Grand a mile Caillou. away. Right. And that's actually in, in, in preliminary design right now. Okay. That's a huge pump station. That's 6,000 CFS. That's, wow. That's a big one. That's huge. 118 Watershed. Uh, the levy and water control station, that's some structures, that's under, that's under construction. Right. That's about $15 million. Okay. Bayou Lacour pump station, that's under design. We're permitting that. If, if everyone knows on Leveron Street, where it always flooded at Lum, uh, Leveron and Columbus. Yep. Uh, well, well, we would, uh, this, this takes care of it. If you notice, we, we already dug a retention pond next to Popeye. Yes, yes, that's, and, that's and, what and we, that's for. And we tapped into a, a culvert coming from that area, so it gives us some retention time to really help that area. We haven't flooded since we've done it. Wow. But we are putting a pump station involved with that. Okay. Uh, uh, Bayou Terrebonne uh, Lock Pump Station, which is under design at below Montague. Okay. That's at, at our uh, lo uh, at the lock system below Montague that the Terrebonne Parish built. Right. And that's about $12 million. Val High Extension, $39 million. Savannah Road to Bull Run Road. Okay. And then we'll have pictures of that later on. Terrebonne Sports. And in the Val High Extension from Savannah Road at Val High, Puts a whole separate road all the way to 90 and actually past 90 and lines up with Rouse's supermarket, uh, Rouse's distribution. Distribution. Super, yeah, wow. not the supermarket, but the distribution for the supermarket. Right. Wow. And and this is, right now, we, we're under design and engineering and, and going to land acquisition. Okay. And that's all in, that's future projects. Terrebonne Sports Complex, because we have a bunch of projects in there, a boys' concessions being built. Right. And we have some other projects. We just bought $2.7 million worth of land against Val High that we didn't own before. Okay. So we have additional 25-acre addition to the sportsplex. Oh, wow. That has been purchased. We own it. Terrebonne Parish owns 25 acres. A replacement of DA pump station, T18 pump station, Fargo Canal. Thunderbird Burke Ridge replacement. Mm -hmm. We're asking for the money with the state to build a three-lane bridge at Thunderbird. That's by Broadmoor. Oh, wow. Right across from the graveyard. Sure. We already acquired the one piece of property, the old bank, and we're trying to acquire that old gas station mm -hmm. that's across from the graveyard. Right. By you terrible... Mida Gate, Company Canal, Mida Gate, that is to put from, from, from the south of the intercoastal on the east side to Berg, Montague, all under force pump like we did in Chauvin. Okay. okay. That whole area will be under force pump. Wow. Great project. 
Hanson Canal Trash uh, Screen, that's that's so on the Hanson Canal Pump Station. Right. Barrel Street Pump Station, that is under design. Uh, that's five 54-inch pumps to force the water out of there when the intercoastal is high. And okay. It's going to be right at the library. Okay. Okay, right off of Barrel Street. Right. The Wet, Wetlands Discovery Center, Industrial Boulevard Pump Station. We've been designing that. We're waiting on a core permit. Okay. We have $5 million in the statewide flood program. We need about another $3 million. Okay. We, D19, Lower DeLarge, and then Westside Alma. We've already done a big project, and it's Phase B coming up. Right. As you know, the voters uh, uh, rededicated one mil, which is one million to school resource officers. Right. Overwhelming support. I want to thank the public, okay. which this money 100% goes to the safety of our children. Right. And of course, it's for the sheriff's department and Homer Police Department and the school board. And we, we, we uh, you know, you, you SROs have to have two years experience. They're just not putting some guy in there. Right. And I want to thank uh, Bubba Orger on the school board. Naturally, Tim Saunier and, and uh, uh, Terrio, uh, Travis, Travis Terrio, they've been working together with us and, uh, and, the, and, and the council. Yes, sure. Without All a doubt. of that takes place. Next one. This is this is under design. OK, we're expecting the money this year. That's a new bridge going to Brady Road and Fisherman's Retreat. That bridge is about to fall in. Yeah. But, yeah. but for the citizens there, we did buy a barge. With ramps that we can, it's, it's, it's out there, that we can use if that bridge fails because the bridge is very weak. Right. Then we, we, we can't keep getting cars back and forth. We just have to get that thing in place. Right, right. So we and do have a backup because the bridge is in bad shape. Okay. And these are completed projects, and as we talk, we just go through them. Uh, okay. You know, the uh, Lower Lil Coyote Pump Station, which is Last Brook, uh, uh, of Hollywood Road, Val High Roundabout, that's fully funded. Yep. That's being designed. That's right at Val High and Hollywood Road. Right. We're, we're looking at a new public works building, but this is very preliminary. Okay. Uh, this is completed right here. This is uh, those pumps right off of Val High. We put all these subdivisions in, in Sugarwood, uh, Manchester area. Right. Uh, lakes, et cetera. Right. Uh, and, and the sports park is all in the force pump now. Okay. And that so was done about four it. years ago. Right. Bathroom, I just want to show pictures of the bathroom, how nice we do them now. They are air conditioned. We, it's a new, whole new concept of building bathrooms. Right. We yeah. did a splash park we did in, on, uh, at the air base. Right, on the east side. That was completed, and we under construction constantly. These, this is an old picture of the next one. Is uh, but we're we're adding the, we're adding the concessions, but all these baseball fields are completed. Right, they redid those. Yeah, the next one, the next slide shows you a little better. Yeah, it's and a it, nice it, area. In the view. middle, we 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 actually under construction right now with LA contractors of a concession in bathrooms. Right. The new soccer lights are up. That's a whole soccer field with stadium lighting, and if you with two million four hundred fifty three thousand, but then we added a parking lot, and we've got a volleyball. And if you notice, the road to the left goes all the way back towards Val High. Oh, that's right. That's that was all road. included in two point four million dollars. Okay. Next one is the volleyball and, and picture the road again, and these are stadium lights. They're really, really good lights. Okay. The next one is the two point seven million dollar. That's the lot we bought on Val High, not a lot, 25 acres. That it, that that's for the for future expansion for the next administration. We do plan to put an arena on there. Oh, wow. With an LSU uh, cooperative extension. Okay. Along with 4-H born and, and have a, you know, a, a type of a animal and, you know, horse right, shows. Right, So 4-H four, four can do all of their different types of programming there with all the different bull, animals. Bull riding, me and you can go ride a yeah, bull. How you like that? All right, Gordy. I'll, I'll get on one right after you. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got to go first now. You got to go first. <laughs> I'll do that. But anyway, <laughs> and uh, the next one is these boat landings we built, which was, uh, that's Chauvin. Chauvin, and right. I mean, beautiful boat oh, landings, all really handicapped. Are. Everything we've done, the fishing piers, even in the sports plex, is all handicap access, as you can see right here. We got railings on them, and uh, you can see the people, watch it, the, the people that, that's on it in the upper right. Montague. The upper Montague is completed, and, and uh, that's that's for the people in Montague. Of course, this is the, the next one is the King's Bayou Bridge. That's a bridge we did a while back. Right. The plaza, I want to thank the Rotary Club, 
are really, really working with us. And Tommy Boudreau in North and Boudreau, who did the construction. And, it, it, you know, it's, the fancy stuff like that is tough to build. People don't realize how hard it is to get the craftsmen. Oh, yeah. But it, this thing is really, really, if you look at the pictures, came it's out beautiful. nice. beautiful. And listen, all the way that it's, it's decorated right now for Christmas, that's what we're doing with my family. When the kids come in, that's where we're going. So right. beautiful. And, beautiful. For, and for the Christmas parade, it looked like 1975 with the Mardi Gras. They had so many people down yes. there. Yes, yes, it, it, it was fantastic. All the kids ran out right after the, the courthouse square. They ran out of candy. Yeah, that's exactly I mean, that's right. how many people were on it. It was that terrific. That really is bringing people back downtown. And that's and, been our focus for so long, right? Really beautifying downtown, and that's right. it's a great example of it. La Petite as well. Yeah, in the La Petite Theater is uh, the next one is this is the Summerfield Adaptive Park bathroom. It is air conditioned. As you can see, this is the new bathrooms we're building. Right. They're not the old cinder block with no air conditioning. Right. These right. are first class bathrooms, and this is an adaptive park right. for handicapped or, regular, or children, you know. Right. And, and so you bring up a really good point, Gordy, as we take a short break here about what the changes we're really improving, looking at land to really improve improve the park when they want to expand for the next administration. The bathrooms there, the bathrooms here on the east side, all so much more comfortable. It's really bringing uh, a great support to the community for all the different things that we have. And so some great recommendations. We got a lot more stuff to go through. Yes. So if it's all right with you, Gordy, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back and talk more about these projects. Thank you. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with President Dove here going over all of the changes that we've seen over the last few years. We'll be right back. A new company with a lot of history. GIS Engineering has rapidly grown its brand around an experienced team of professionals. GIS Engineering is a full-service planning, engineering, procurement, and construction management company specializing in coastal protection and restoration, upstream and downstream industrial, and transportation infrastructure projects. Putting people first, GIS Engineering, a new company with a lot of history. I'm Councilwoman Jessica Domang, and today we're going to talk about school zone safety. Drivers are required to yield to pedestrians in a crosswalk. Always stop when someone is in the road and wait for them to cross completely before proceeding. Follow the speed limit and always stop when school buses are picking up and dropping off students. Keeping students safe is a community responsibility, so let's all do our part. Pelican Waste and Debris is your local company. We don't just work here, we live here and understand the unique challenges that face our region. Our commitment to our community and customers and love for Louisiana keeps us motivated. Pelican meets every residential and commercial service need, offering roll-off, front load, and compactor services, ideal for hotels, restaurants, apartments, construction or industrial sites, and much more. We also make recycling simple and cost efficient offering single stream recycling program options. We have set the highest standards for environmental protection, community engagement, and guaranteed client satisfaction. Visit pelicanwaste.net or call us at 985-873-9553 to save money with hassle-free service. Our team has over 100 years of experience, so we know how to make you happy. The sky is the limit, so fly with the Pelican. In South Louisiana, storms are a way of life. Every storm poses a different threat, whether from flooding or hurricane force winds. At All South Consulting Engineers, we help protect our people from these disasters. Before a storm, we work with our leaders to prevent catastrophic damage. After the storm, we help get the resources needed for rebuilding. We have helped our cities, parishes, and school boards recover over $2 billion to rebuild our community. We'll be here for the next one.
Hello and welcome back to this edition of Going Public. Very glad to have joining me, Keith Weishag, your host, uh, President Gordon Dove. Gordon, thanks again. Uh, as we're having to roll through these things pretty quickly because of the volume of uh, activities, volume of types of uh, things that we've been able to bring to uh, yes. fruition and all these different outlay projects that you've mentioned. And I know a lot of people to thank for that, but we appreciate you bringing this stuff yeah. on. It, so it, we'll start rolling through again with those. Yeah, and like I say, this isn't everything. This is a lot of my major projects. Right. The right. next one is the new health unit, which is required by statute. This was done on a millage. Uh-huh. And it's the building to the left. The one to the right is the, is the Tesh Action Clinic. Right. The one on the left, it was the Craig Abair, great, great architect. He's, he, he did architecture work. They're actually going to bid with this January 6th. Okay. I mean, excuse me, January the 15th. Okay. You know, with the, be ha the beginning of next year. Right. And that's and, expected to cost and this around year is $6 fully million. funded. $6 fully million funded already. $6 million. And required by law. Yep. The next one is the Home Navigation Canal. Of course, this was built back in 2013. Right. You are protected at this point. And then the yep. next one is what's they're actually taking bids for this lock system tomorrow at two o'clock oh, at wow. the levy board. Wow. This is estimated to run about three hundred and fifty million dollars. That's where the, the operations building is going. OK. And this is this is uh, uh, it, the lock system is uh, like I say, it's going to bid. will be completed in about two and a half to three years. The lock system. Right. And that, that's going to solve our water problems from the winds blowing it in. Right. And vessels can come and go. It'll so prevent that and they'll keep keep working. Right. right. Remember the bubble doves to the left, the yes. lock systems to the, to the right. 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 And it's going to have two gates. And the gate's at 21 foot above sea level. 21 feet above, above sea, sea level. Above sea level, wow. uh, which is what the core is requiring. Okay. So if we go if we go to the next the next one, this is the Bayou Grand Caillou pump station. That's that big one I said earlier. It's oh, ninety-five that's right. million dollars. These right. are twelve-foot diameter. This is at the Grand Caillou uh, floodgate. Wow, those are huge. And, and this is one hundred sixty million gallons per hour. One hundred. One hundred eight million dollars, and uh, so that's that's what you get. Thirteen feet diameter pumps. Wow. And this is a, this is a, it'll take a while to build, but right. And we have started the engineering on this. Okay. Next one, Petite Caillou Lock System. That's at Boudreau Canal. That's okay. been open for about three years now. Right. And of course, Chauvet is now on the force pump. Okay. Next one is another picture of it. Right. And then the Petit Caillou pump station. This is finished. This is what puts Chauvet under force pump right here. Right. This you have is a what flood, allows for it to do that. You have a floodgate flood all the way by Woodlawn Ranch Road that shuts the water off. It's right. in a lock system. So here it is pumping right there. This is And that's a beautiful actually project. pumping itself. Yes, beautiful project. And if you look at the next few slides, shows it, 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 and then the next one is the Bayou Terrebonne uh, lock system, which is below Montague. That's been completed. That was about $15 million. Wow. And we're building a pump station out there. We're designing right now is that one right there that's being designed for about last year and a half. We're permitting it. And that's to, to put, the, the, that's the miter gate at the twin span. Oh, okay. And uh, and then, then you have a, a company canal. You got one company canal. You got one by the twin span. And that puts Bayou Terrebonne from the intercoastal to Montague all under pump. Wow. Berg. Okay. They will be forced pump. They will right. never have water problems. Never have water problems. And then uh, proposed Bayou Terrebonne pump station. Now that, okay. That's, that may go where it's at on this location or it may go... Behind Proferni's old building. The oh, engineers. okay. A little farther up. A little yeah, farther up. A little up the further volume. north. Okay, right. The, the exact location isn't, but they're under engineering as we speak. Right. They're in preliminary. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and then the, the, when we go back, that's the company canal I was talking right. about earlier. Yes. That closes off by your terrible. Okay. Company canal gotcha. in twin span. Closes off by your terrible. And then you got the one, the lock system below Montague. Right. And then you got the little bio black pump station. Which is on okay. which is that thing has worked beautiful. Yeah. And then they have the radio gate that we can control the water flow with. That has really, really helped Whiskey Bayou and all that oh, area. Oh God, yeah. 
That has been wonderful. Great job. It's been complete. Hanson Canal been complete for about three years. Three years now, right. That's the Chacahula Basin is no longer a problem for people. Right. Because what we did, we built the Elliott Jones Canal, which is another $20 million floodgate. Oh, That right. is operational. Yep. Right. So you, you right now you can pump a million gallons a minute with them two pump stations. A million gallons a those minute with those Those are 66-inch pumps, wow. uh, and they're all electric. And okay. with a backup, and remember, all our pumps there. We added thirty pump stations at Terrebonne Parish, and they all, they all have backup generators. And fifty of our major pump stations are telemetry and skater. You can operate them from New York City if you want. Wow! And that's all our major pump stations, which this would be major pump stations. Right. And so, buy you black now. Right, buy black. That is actually. F- we, we have a $12 million federal grant. We have the Corps of Engineers permit on it. Okay. And we're going under engineering with it. We have okay. a $3.2 million match with it. Bayou Terrebonne, Bayou Cane, Cane right. you know, that's that's the one right behind Rouse's people see being there. Right. It's a levy city. That's where we had the fire. That's where the fires were, 4, exactly. 4,000 acres, and then well, that's the pump station. It's under construction. It, under construction Right now. behind Rouse's off of Martin Luther King. At Savannah Road. Bonanza, we, we had, re, we had we, you know, it's such a port pump station. We had refurbished it a few years back. Right. And uh, the Baila Corp is coming out right into, it, you know, right right behind, um, where the, right right before that brickyard, uh, where the coastal, what is that, electrical right there is off of 311. Oh, uh, Actually, not, uh, not far from Polk Street. Oh, okay. Towards... Uh, uh, Lafayette. Okay. All right. It's, gotcha. it's going to discharge Near into Chauvin. it. Right. Hollywood Road is a three lane bridge. We'll be finishing about another two months. Okay. They're a little bit behind. We were right. trying to finish before the end of the year. That four, but that's three lanes, and, it, and it's a, it's a, it's the same pretty bridge like we did at Polk Street. Oh wow. That'd Four point two million, nice. and that's under construction. That high road extension, thirty nine million, goes from. Savannah Road by Val High all the way to 90, Highway actually 90. under 90. Underneath 90, like you mentioned. And then if you see it comes up to Rouse's Drive on this next one, Val High. Right. It goes to 311 where Rouse's Drive is. Oh, and, now I know what you mean. Okay. Okay, and then you got the university right to the right. Yes, yes. So it, it actually services the university. You As know, well. the Fletcher. Fletcher. Uh, the knock camp, the knock camp, uh, lift station. I just showed that we do a lot of sewage that we don't talk about a lot. Right. But we have upgraded a lot of sewage systems. We also installed generators at all our sewage, at 12 of our major sewage systems. So during the hurricane, the sewage will continue to run. It used to be shut out once you lost power. Right, when you lost power. And then it, we did another sewage lift station on Martin Luther King. Okay. The next one is just how we control lilies. We constantly, you don't see us working on lilies, but we work on them. Yeah. You can see You're, right there. Yeah. You got to drive down the body to see it. But you don't see clearing them. The next one, we got 19 excavators work every day cleaning ditches. Every day. I know a lot of people complain, well, why my ditch isn't clean? Well, you got 4,000 miles of ditches. You know? Right, right. So and then this is COVID cleaning to the left. Okay. And then there's, there's some more cleaning. Uh, Isle of Cuba. Fargo Canal floodgate. The levee board built this. If you go to the Fargo Canal, but but we funded 16 million of it through Terrebonne Parish government. Right. That's why I put this on there. Right. Yeah. It was 16 million came from the parish. Yes. And then our Illidan Charles Road. We put we put about three million dollars worth of rocks on the side side. Right. And a lot of people said, well, wait a minute, they they, they relocating the people on the Illidan Charles Island, but you have a graveyard there with seventy five people that were located by the federal government. That's right. We have to allow people to go see their loved ones. Yep. And so you have a graveyard on that island, and we did a lot of barrier islands. Uh, the the next one is our chain of islands. Right. And then and you can see Timberlay Island. We put about Three billion cubic yards, and uh, Whiskey Island. We put eleven million cubic yards. We now we we have submitted to the state to put segmented breakwater rocks because people right. ask that. Right. Hopefully we go we go keep working on that. Okay. Whiskey Island, Whiskey Island. That was like I said, beautiful job. Trinity oh, yeah. Island was four Look million, four million cubic yards was put on Trinity in 2021. Right. And then and on the next slide is just the dozers that work it the way they work it and all. Yeah, so, so they're unique we did, about that process. We finished with a minute left. Minute <laughs> How you left. like that? We did good. 
Well, Gordy, it's just one of those things. And again, you mentioned all of those different people that have helped this. But man, this is just a lot of these things have come to fruition from when you were back in the legislature. Legislature, too, right? right. And then when I hit, when I, you know, we we built thirty pump stations in Tailbone Parish from when I started in as parish president. And, and when I took over the office, we had they had six pump stations with telemetry and SCADA, and they were the small ones. Right. Telemetry is you can monitor and, and, and SCADA start, stop, telemetry right. and SCADA. We now have, I said 50, we're really reaching 60. Wow. All the major pump stations, our guys could be anywhere. As if we have a Cat 5 house, they and they can start, stop, they can monitor the temperatures. Wow. They can monitor the water flow. Now we put water flow meters on them to make okay. sure they have vibration meters on them. So if they start vibrating because something's caught up in the impeller, it will shut that pump down and it'll tell our guys something's wrong. Wow. And so we, we really have a, a, a great sophisticated. And, and, and then we remember that on the old pump stations, we had to put 24 Temple Power never had backup generators. So all them old pump stations that was electric, Died. Yeah, they were dope. they're going. For, yeah. for, for Rita and, 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 and also for Ike and Gustav, you flooded. Yeah. You and, know? and we don't we don't have that risk anymore, and it's because of the advancement of those things. So many people to thank. But, Gordy, thank you very much for coming to give us those updates. And that's just the big ones. So mm -hmm. we appreciate it very, very much. And thanks to the people at Tabone Power. I've enjoyed my 20 years of serving them. Yeah, we appreciate that. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular edition of Going Public. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming right here on HTV. Thank you.